for pollinators in the field. So we made a transect of 25 meters and then the guys are going up and down the 25 meters and if they see a pollinator or an insect flying then they catch it with their net. And sometimes you don't see a lot but it's nice to just keep sweeping and in case something flies into the net. Uh, so each transect we walk for five minutes up and down the 25 meters and we collect as much as we can inside the net. And then we can use the insects that are there to identify them using their DNA. So we can bring them back uh, to the lab and uh, identify all the species that they found pollinating these uh, crops. And this field is the control, so it's alfalfa field. And we have on the other side a strip crop uh, field with uh, different strips of uh, yeah, unusual crops, I would say, because they're on a slope and uh, in a marginal and marginal uh, land soil area. So, no, as an ecologist, of course, we first we have we have to get the results, but I expect that at least the biodiversity is higher in the strip cropping. No. So we measure here, we measure in the other field, and then we uh, compare the difference to really see like well, we, we actually really studied the biodiversity of all the insects uh, here. Yeah, yeah, we did see a difference. Yeah, yeah. yeah there's a lot of Some more of them are pollinators. Empty. A lot more pollinators in the, in the flowers here. Yeah. Great. Yeah, you can so see them, even if you're just standing there. Yeah.